Hi, welcome back. This is Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl Faith, and here we are stepping out with Faith to work together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. Here in this video, we are dedicating um, to giving you a push start. We call it our kickstart video to your one hour alone time with God. You are encouraged to spend one hour with God each and every single day. His word promises us that if we draw near to him, he will draw near to us. I pray that if you have not subscribed already, you will subscribe and join this team as we rally together to unite and to support each other as these final events come to a close and we work towards securing our salvation with fear and trembling. God has called us to intelligent worship, not that faith doesn't have its place, but that our intelligent God calls us to reason with him. And so, where it concerns the matter of the great controversy, the conflict between good and evil, this season's Kickstart devotional will be taking the devotional readings from the book, The Great Controversy. Herein, we will find revealed the conflict between good and evil from its beginning to its expected grand end. Come on, join us, subscribe, stay, tell someone else as you subscribe and share the video. Thanks for joining us. Let us go into prayer as we get on into the rest of the routine of this video. So let us pray. Holy Righteous Father, what an awesome God thou art, a God who has not left us in darkness, a God who calls us to intelligent worship. As we come before you, O omniscient one, O omni everything, God, great and terrible God, reveal all truth to us that we need to understand in this conflict of the controversy. May all who come before you with humbled hearts and pure intentions be given clarity as to what the great controversy is all about and what is each of our place in the controversy to fulfill its end on the side of the Lord. Father, guide us now we pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen. All right, so we go into our memory text. We have been practicing all week, St. John 12 and verse 24, and now we're going to attempt to recite it. St. John 12, verses 24 says, Verily I say unto you, is except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. Let me see if I got it right. St. John 12 and verse 24. Well, let us see if we got it right because you should be reciting today as well. St. John 12 verse 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. I think we did. God be praised. May we be able to recall this in future and due season to glorify his name and to edify souls, even our very own. Now let us go into the reading of the Great Controversy. As you can recall, we are now in chapter 1. And the title of chapter 1, can you tell me? Yes. The Destruction of Jerusalem. Now, of course, you know that speaks to the Israelites, and we are spiritual Israel. And now here we go into pick up from where we left off in our last video. Um, I'm going to ask and invite that you please grab your Bibles because we will always be reading from the Bible as we do the Great Controversy book. So here we go. In reference from Isaiah 53 verse 7, find it for me please. Isaiah 53 and verse 7. Um, I'll give you some time to find it and then I'll read. So his tears, then I'll, I'll read from the Bible, that is. Let me start the prologue in the meantime. His tears were not for himself, though he well knew whither his feet were tending. Before him lay Gethsemane, the scene of his approaching agony. 
the sheep gate also was in sight through which for centuries the victims for sacrifice had been led and which was to open for him when he should be as isaiah 53 verse 7 says find it isaiah 53 reading from verses 7 and i'll go to 9 he was oppressed and he was afflicted yet he openeth not his mouth he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before his shearer is dumb so he openeth not his mouth he was taken from prison and from judgment and who shall declare his generation for he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people was he stricken and he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death because he had done no violence neither was any deceit in his mouth continuing end of bible reading continuing from the book the great controversy now not far distant was calvary the place of crucifixion upon the path which christ was soon to tread must fall the harrow of great darkness as he should make his soul and offering for sin yet it was not the contemplation of these scenes the, that cast the shadow upon him in the hour of glad in this hour of gladness no foreboding sorry no foreboding of his own superhuman anguish clouded that unselfish spirit he wept instead for the doomed thousands of Jerusalem because of the blindness and impenitence of those whom he came to bless and to save. Continue to read. The history of more than a thousand years of God's special favor and guardian care manifested to the chosen people was open to the eyes of Jesus in these moments there was Mount there was Mount Moriah the son of promise an unresting victim had been bound to the altar emblemed of the offering of the son of God there the covenant of blessing the glorious messianic promise had been confirmed to the father of the faithful we examine the same let's go to Genesis 22 and verse 9 and look at this as um, and they came to the place which God had told him of and Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood and Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son and the angel of the Lord called out unto him out of heaven and said Abraham Abraham and he said here am I also in verses we stop there for that reading also you can consider continue to read to verses 16 and 18 there the flames of the sacrifice ascending to heaven from the threshing fold of Ornan had turned aside the sword of the destroying angels and I'm going to invite you to read for that second Chron first Chronicles rather 21 I'll do three verses from it for you and Satan stood up against Israel and provoked provoked David to number Israel and David said to Joab and to the rulers of the people go number Israel from Beersheba even to Dan and bring the number of them to me that I may know it and Joab answered the Lord make his people an hundred times so many more as they be but my Lord the king are they not 
all my lord's servants? Why then doth my lord inquire this thing? Why will he be a cause of trespass to Israel? All right, so we are going to stop there for today as we are seeing now the conflict where it would have made its way marks here in the um the kingdom the jerusalem in jerusalem where it is that david ruled and where it is also that prior to him we had kings that rule and where the children of israel then being the jewish nation the called out people the light bearer of their dispensation had fallen into great apostasy the ninth of god that had been their leader and their king and their their father for so long but still expecting to be a full inheritor of all the privileges and promises of the called now jesus now had entered the scene coming into jerusalem as prophesied on the cult and they were having a triumphant jubilante time accepting him and introducing him to their great temple the magnificent beauty and crown of their nation but jesus the visionary omniscient was looking way ahead and through the vision given him by his father was able to see way ahead the destruction that was sure to come upon jerusalem who refuse to stop apostatizing. We look forward to the rest of this riveting chapter, so please join us in the next video as we continue chapter one of the Great Controversy. Feel free to ask any questions in the commentary sections that you might have a need to, to help with your understanding as of the content here. And let us please keep it respectful and with godly order. Let us pray. Father, we thank you again for another occasion that we have been able to support each other in this time of dividing the words of truth. Father, as you reveal the conflicts of um, the, the un to us understanding the, about the conflicts um, of the controversy, Father, we pray that we'll use it not to glorify ourselves and to show any form of great knowledge, but in it instead to find safety and even verification for what we believe in and as we even see the truth revealed we can understand where we are in the way marks that are giving us the indicators that the end of time is nigh father help us to be ready and may we not be selfish in getting ready but help others to get ready too fill us with your holy spirit and continue to in increase wisdom understanding and humility and full surrender in us through your holy spirit's working in Jesus' name, amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known and always acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Happy Sabbath when it comes to you wherever you are at sunset today, Friday. And of course, honor the Sabbath all the way into sunset on Saturday where it ends. Wherever you are, happy Sabbath and God bless you. Go ahead subscribe and share this video as you join the team and join in spreading the everlasting gospel one love see you soon